Welcome back. Um, so right now I'm heading down. Uh, I gotta feed a bale to the uh, dry cows uh, before it gets too sloppy. It's gonna be warm again today. So I wanna do it while the ground's still halfway frozen. But uh, today we're gonna work in the shop a little bit. Um, I've got uh, a couple projects that I just haven't had time to get to, but I gotta make time. So uh, one of the uh, the big thing on the on the agenda is I got a, our, other, our other big tractor. Uh, I gotta pull the, uh, the front end apart on it for the second time in two years and uh, replace a couple seals in the uh, steering rack as well as the hydraulic pump. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and get started on today. I'm not gonna get it finished, but uh, we're gonna get started on today. And uh, hopefully should get a pretty good head start on it. We'll see how much I get done. All right, so I'm back in the shop. Uh, we got the, uh, the dry cows fed and got their water broke open, got the ice busted apart on it. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is this, uh, this 4430, I've had the dash tour part in it for months, since fall, pretty much. It had a leak. I, I fixed, uh, last year, last winter, I put new seals in the uh, uh, steering valve underneath the uh, console, and <clears throat> it had a leak. Of course, after I get it done, it's still leaking, and uh, it turned out just to be a loose hose clamp, but I wanted to make sure that was it before I had to take everything apart again, so I just left it apart and uh, never got it put back together. So the first thing I'm going to do is put that back together. That's not going to take very long, um, but then after I get that done, <clears throat> the next thing on the agenda is the uh, getting started on this 1130. So this is our other big tractor here. This is a Massey Ferguson 1130, and uh, basically what I got to do here is inside <clears throat> inside here there's a uh, the steering rack that uh there's a there's cil a cylinder in there that goes back and forth when you uh turn the uh turn the wheel turn the steering wheel and uh the cylinder is leaking through from one side to the other so basically what's happening is when you're driving it it tries to take a left on you all the time. And so you're constantly turning the wheel back to the right all the time because it's leaking through, um, it's leaking through one of the seals in there. So I gotta take that apart, put new seals in it. And then also right in down in here um, is the hydraulic uh, pump. And I just, <laughs> it's kind of irritating. I just had this whole thing apart last year and I got to put back together this uh, early this summer. And I had replaced a bunch of stuff on that hydraulic pump but the couple seals that I didn't replace, and I talked to the guy I bought this from there, um, it's an old Massey dealer, I talked to them about this, and both of us kind of agreed, oh, those are the seals you don't need to worry about, and lo and behold, those are the seals that are still leaking. So um, I gotta tear this thing back apart again and uh, put some new seals back in that pump as well. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's what we're gonna work on. My, today, is, if I can get all the tin off and get all this broke down um, and everything opened up, uh, maybe even get the fluids drained out of the radiator and stuff. <clears throat> if I can get that far, um, that'll make me happy. I don't necessarily need to get everything tore apart, but if I can at least get, get the tin off, get all this front end off, the weights off, the weight rack, and then uh, basically get it down to pretty much just a radiator and hydraulic cooler, that'd make me happy. So anyway, let's get started. So this is what we're doing up here. The, uh, the dash, as you can see, it's only it's three pieces. There's two that go up top over here, and then a piece that goes down here. And then I've got another wood shelf that I made that's gonna bolt on top here. Um, so I just need to put all this back together. Um, there's no reason to leave this open anymore because it's not leaking anymore. So I need to get it back together. <laughs> Gorgeous, you're up.
Well, in true John fashion, of course, I forgot that I was draining the hydraulic fluid and the bucket spilled a little overflowed. I uh, can't remember the last time I ever worked on a tractor and I didn't spill some oil on the floor, so that's normal. Uh, got the radiator draining over here too. So that, uh, it's not a very big hose, so that's probably gonna take a little bit. And now I'm gonna get started working on, I gotta take, I gotta take all this apart. I gotta take the, uh, <clears throat> Take the uh, air breather off. Once I get this off, um, all these these hoses back here got to come off. All these hydraulic lines up here got to come off. And then um, once I get all that stuff done, uh, I'll take the hydraulic cooler off. And uh, I'm gonna have to suspend this. These lines that go all the way across the top. Um, I'll just put a board across the uh, across up here and run a ratchet strap up and suspend those and then uh, we'll get the radiator out of there. I might actually get that done today. Uh, I'm moving a lot faster than I thought I would, so um, we'll see how fast it drains, but I at least want to get the uh, hydraulic cooler out of there and get the, uh, the breather out of there, so that's what I'm gonna do next.
All right, let's check out the mess I made here. I see these guys, I watch these videos of them working on stuff and they're all nice and clean and tidy and don't spill anything and uh, that stuff's a fairy tale. It's like a unicorn to me. Um, if I'm not spilling oil, I'm not doing something right. But uh, anyway, so this is the steering rack right here. The way this thing works is uh, on the back side of it over here, there's a cylinder that goes back and forth across here from side to side. And depending on how you turn your steering wheel, it's all hydraulic. So the hydraulic fluid comes in and pushes it this way. And as it pushes it that way, uh, there's teeth on the back side of this rack. And those teeth turn this, there's a uh, basically a sprocket <clears throat> or a gear and it turns it one way or the other. And then that's what turns your tie rods down here. So anyway, there's seals in here um, on both sides. And uh, one of those, I can't remember which one right now, but one of those seals is leaking. So um, I've got to basically unbolt these, pull this off, pull that cylinder out, put new seals on, and then put it back together. I don't think I have to take it off the tractor to do it. I think I can do it just right there. Um, so that should be fine. And then this down here is the hydraulic pump. <clears throat> so the what's leaking is on the bottom side of here. Um, the uh, There's a couple seals on the bottom side of this that I got to get to. So that really sucks because I had that whole thing out and on the bench last year. Um, or last winter but uh that's my bad so anyway <clears throat> live and you learn but uh what i got to do is unbolt so there's some bolts down here <clears throat> that come off this main um this main pulley that comes off the the uh the, uh, that's your crankshaft down in there but anyway you got to unbolt those and then that that uh this piece you can't even really see it down in there anyway there's a piece that slides back <clears throat> and then the there's four bolts two on each side of this that i'll unbolt those and then i can lift that whole thing right out of there and uh, fix it again. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, but uh, that went a lot better than I thought, um, other than spilling a few things, I guess. This radiator and this hydraulic cooler, so the last time I had it apart, um, that hydraulic cooler was leaking bad. And so I took it into a shop, had them fix it. Um, it was down, I can't remember where. Actually, I think it was right here. I don't know if you can see that, but they did some welding on it, because they don't make these anymore and you can't find them. And uh, so anyway, they fixed it for me, <clears throat> boiled it and painted it. And then same uh, at the same time, I thought, well, it'd be dumb not to do the radiator. So I took the radiator in also, which I'm glad I did because it, um, it had all kinds of issues. And so they put um, all new cores and everything in the radiator. So that's basically a brand new radiator. So once I get done, this tractor actually will be in really good shape. Uh, it's got a few leaks back, um, back here um, for the brakes that I got to adjust. And also I think on a couple fuel lines it leaks. Um, and as you can see, there's just a few small things here and there, but uh, I know the old Masseys are kind of known for leak. And the other thing I got to do is uh, it needs a new alternator as well. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it. Um, I think uh, we're going to end the video there, though. Um, that, uh, like I said, I'm pretty happy with what I got done. That was a little bit more than I was expecting. So um, it's been good. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, do it part two. Um, probably the next, next piece is going to be pulling the hydraulic pump out and then... Um, uh, putting the seals in the uh, the steering rack. So I'll do I'll do a video when I get to that stuff as well So anyway, um, if you're still watching, I really appreciate it guys um, I'm not the most uh, exciting person in the world, uh, but uh, I, I do appreciate it um, And if you like what you see give us a thumbs up uh, that really helps and then also uh, maybe subscribe to the channel I'm, I plan on making quite a few more videos about just random different things I'm gonna try and try and put a video out video out every week at least one out every week of doing some shop work because I got all kinds of projects and uh, then another video, so two videos a week, one doing shop work and then maybe one just doing chores and stuff around the farm or um, cutting hay or whatever we got going on at that time. So anyway, thanks again. I really appreciate it. You guys take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye.